Hey Aries, it's Dana, Deep Thoughts with Dana, live face to face. How are you guys doing, right? This is getting easier and easier for me. I uh, kind of broke it open with Taurus, right? Because I'm a Taurus and me and Taurus, we just connect, right? I'm actually on the Aries cusp, so um, Aries does apply to me a lot, a lot, a lot. So anyway, um, doing camera, right? Doing the camera thing. It's getting easier for me. Cut me a little slack. It does make me... It does make me a little sticky, okay, because I'm not used to having to do this whole thing, right? I'm used to just, you know, the camera and my intuition and the whole thing just flowing. So cut me some slack. I'm a little sticky this time, okay? All right. So, Aries, this is a general reading for the collective of Aries. If you have Aries anywhere in your chart, you very well may feel this reading, okay? You very well may. If you don't, that's okay too. It's just not your reading, right? It's just not for you. Don't try to make it fit, man. Don't don't run in somebody else's shoes because you're going to fuck your feet up. Oh, R-rated channel, okay? R-rated. Telling you right now. R-rated channel. If you want PG-13, hang a hard left because you ain't going to get that here. Aries, um, this is a general reading. It may resonate. It may not. Okay. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at deepthoughtswithdana.com and you have to promise me, promise me, promise me that you will not make a life-altering decision based on anybody's general tarot card reading. Okay, General as in this is the energy that is going on for the sign of Aries based on the planetary positions right here today, right now. Okay, you may find yourself anywhere in this reading. Maybe it hasn't started for you yet. Maybe it's going to unfold through the month of September. Maybe you're in the thick of it. Maybe it's over for you. Okay, just depends on where your planetary positions are and how each and every one of these cards, right? Each and every one of these cards is an emotional, mental, or physical process. So where you find yourself in this reading depends on how you process things and how anybody else in this reading processes things as well, okay? All right, so um, let's get going, okay? Let's start this bad boy. But I'm going to pause the camera real quick because my phone just blinked. I have 15% left. Let me plug it in. Stand by. Okay, Aries, good to go now. Good to go. All right, so... We start this reading with a breakup, okay? A breakup. The Queen of Pentacles is the first card out. This is um, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? Doesn't have to be. The Queen of Pentacles always tells me that this is somebody that is or was embedded in your life. She is a person that is in your home, in your environment, in your day-to-day -day activities, okay? So this Queen of Pentacles right here is clarified by the devil, okay? This Queen of Pentacles relationship for you um, is toxic. It's a toxic relationship. Yeah, <laughs> it's a toxic relationship to the Nine of Swords. It creates or created a tremendous amount of anxiety for you. A tremendous amount of anxiety. I also see this card as possibly being the Queen of Pentacles being an anxiety-stricken, depressive type of personality as well. And perhaps that's why it was toxic with the devil energy. To the Hermit in Reverse. This is you, Aries, disconnecting and withdrawing from this Queen of Pentacles. This is interesting to me that this is the card of Virgo. The Queen of Pentacles is Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, very well may have been a Virgo that you're dealing with, but nevertheless, you are withdrawing and disconnecting. To the Strength card, took a minute. It wasn't easy to do. It was not easy to untwine, untangle yourself from this person, but you did. And it brought justice. It brought truth. Justice, right? It, 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 you're justified. You are justified. Now what we have here is you, Aries, as a free spirit. The Page of Wands is a card of enthusiasm, excitement, um, exploration, discovery, and a free spirit. You are now 
unentangled. You are not tangled with this Queen of Pentacles person anymore. You've ended the relationship and you have come out on the other side with a sense of enthusiasm, exploration, discovery, and freedom. Okay? To the Two of Wands, planning your future, looking on down the road, planning your future. What are you going to do, Aries? Well, you are going to take action with the chariot. You're going to take some serious action to manifest a brand new opportunity in your life. Brand new opportunity. The Nine of Pentacles comes in and says that you feel a sense of gratitude. You feel a culmination. You're, you are grateful that this situation with the Queen of Pentacles was brought to a culmination. You're grateful that this situation ended and you're feeling a sense of, of self-sufficiency, right? A free spirit. You, you're free, right? To the Two of Wands. Now you're going to look to the future and you're going to plan for your future. What you're going to do is you are going to bring, you're going to deliver a message to someone or something about creating a new beginning, creating a new beginning. The five of swords in the middle of your reading says that despite conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal in your life, you are now open to change. You're open to change. There might be a little hint of some past resentment, but you're open to change. Knight of Swords in Reverse says that you are going to take action with a complete disregard for consequences. You are not going to be held back. You are not afraid. You are not, you are not, you're, you're, you're going all in, Aries, with this message of creation. You are sending a message to someone about creating a new beginning. And you are going all in with a complete and total disregard for the consequences. You don't care. You're like, come what may. Come what may. I'm speaking my truth. I'm telling you how I feel. And take it or leave it. Doesn't matter to me. Judgment in reverse talks about... Um, Having some self-doubt though, having some self-doubt, right? So you're going to go in recklessly going in and you know, it's not always a bad thing to do things without a, a regard for consequences because I mean, sometimes we just get to a point where like, you know what, fuck it, fuck it, come what may, this is what I want and I'm going for it. If it doesn't work out, that's okay too. At least I gave it the old college try, right? That's how you feel with this Knight of Swords. To the uh, Judgment card in reverse, this is about having some self-doubt, right? Little bit of self-doubt, right? So you're all just all in with the Knight of Swords in reverse, but you have a little bit of self-doubt, okay? You just really don't know how it's all going to turn out. You just really don't know. Because here's the deal, is that you want the Ten of Pentacles, in a love situation, okay? Or at least the Ten of Pentacles in a relationship that is very, very important to you, okay? So the Ten of Pentacles to the lovers to the Hierophant in reverse. Judgment in reverse to the Knight of Swords in reverse. So you're going to go all in, all in, right? Let the cards fall where they may blackjack, winner, winner, chicken dinner, or I'm going to lose everything one way or another. I'm going all in. That's what you're doing with this Knight of Swords. You're going all in. But <coughs> in reality, you have a little self-doubt. You do. you got a little self-doubt going on because you want to establish the Ten of Pentacles in this important, with this important person in your life. You want to establish the Ten of Pentacles, right? But it requires you to reassess your personal belief system, right? It requires you to reassess what it is that you believe about yourself, what it is you believe about this person, this relationship, what it is that you believe, right? And that's where the self-doubt comes in with the judgment in reverse. That's where self-doubt comes into play because 
you just you, you just not sure if this is something that is realistic or not. But with the Knight of Swords in reverse, you don't care. You don't care. You don't care. You're doing it anyway, and you don't care. Queen of Wands. This is who you are moving towards. This is who you are delivering this message of um, creation to. You're delivering this message of creation to this Queen of Wands, right? You are you are letting go of past resentment that you have with this person and you are um, open to change. You're open to change. You're going all in, right? And you have a little bit of self-doubt because you're going to have to reassess what it is you believe about yourself, what it is you believe about your situation right here. Situation. This Queen of Wands is who you're going towards. This Queen of Wands is followed by the Ace of Wands, taking inspired action to create a brand new passionate beginning with the Queen of Wands. Okay? Hangman comes in to clarify, says you've paused, you've surrendered, you've processed everything, and you've come out on the other side with a new perspective about what you want to do with your future. Six of Pentacles says you want to give and receive. You want to give and receive with this Queen of Wands. You do. You want to give and receive with her. You want to create abundance with her. It's a queen, okay? Could be a dude. doesn't matter. But you want to give and receive and, cre and create abundance with this Queen of Wands on a daily basis, right? But the Empress comes on top and says that there is um, a creative block. Okay, there's a creative block going on right here, which tells me that this person is someone from your past. This person is someone from your past that you are now free to, because you have ended the relationship with the Queen of Pentacles, you are now free to take action with the chariot, go forward with the Page of Pentacles, and manifest a new opportunity, right? Right? Your old situation has come to a culmination and you want to plan for your future. So you're going to deliver a message with this page of cups. You're going to deliver a message of creation. Um, despite past resentment that might be around, you're open to change. You're going in all in with the Knight of Swords. Disregard for consequences. Let the cards fall where they may. You have a little bit of self-doubt though because there needs to be some kind of belief system reevaluated in this situation. And you would like to create a love relationship and give and receive with this person, with this Queen of Wands right here, right? Again, the Six of Pentacles, giving and receiving on a daily basis, creating something, family, sitting around watching TV, eating pizza. That's what you want with this person, right? But there's some kind of creative block. This creative block tells me that there has been um, something in the past, right? And you're probably not even talking to this person right now. Two of Pentacles in reverse comes in and says there's disorganization between you and this Queen of Wands. There's just disorganization. There's no congruent. There's no fluid. There's, there's nothing. It's completely disorganized, right? Nine of Swords in reverse comes in and talks to me about um, feeling hopeless. You feel kind of hopeless. Even though you're going all in, disregard for consequences, you're going all in, but you're not real sure that it's going to make. You're not sure that it's going to make. You haven't talked to this person in a minute, right? You're not sure that it's going to make. Because of the Page of Swords in reverse. This is all talk, no action, and undelivered promises. All talk, no action. This tells me that you guys are not communicating with one another at all. There's no talking and there's no action going on, right? All talk, no action. Um, but I'm going to correct that and say no talking, no action. Nothing is happening between the two of you. But looky here, Aries, looky here. 
you want to reunite and reconcile with this Queen of Wands. You want to bring balance and prioritization into this relationship with the Two of Pentacles. You are going to move forward and take action towards this Queen of Pentacles to reunite and reconcile. The Prince of Pentacles comes in and says that you um, are going to move into your future and you want this Queen of Wands to be a part of it. Judgment says there's been an absolute rebirth in the situation. Remember, we had judgment in reverse up here, which is your self-doubt. Now it's a decision about a, a, it's a decision about a decision, right? It's a decision about a decision. You are going to move into this reuniting and reconciling with a rebirth. You want a rebirth of this relationship. Four of Wands comes in and says you want stability, structure. You want harmony, happiness, maybe even marriage with this person. Fool card says a brand new beginning and a brand new journey is on your agenda. And the wheel comes in and says all of this will be a turning point, not only in your life, but in their life. It's a turning point in your destiny. It's a turning point in the relationship. It's a turning point all the way around, Aries. All the way around. Wow. I'm going to ask some more questions, if you all don't mind. What are we at? 15, 16, 16 minutes and 38 seconds? I'm going to ask some more questions real quick, Aries. I'm going to ask some more questions. Spirit, can you tell me, how is this Queen of Wands... How is this Queen of Wands going to receive Aries? How is this Queen of Wands going to receive Aries when their Aries delivers the message of the Page of Cups? Hmm. So we have Judgment to the King of Wands and the Ten of Swords, right? Right? So what this says is that this Queen of Wands person who you want to approach and reunite and reconcile with Aries, she or he, Queen of Wands, hmm, says, hmm, there was a decision though. There was, there was an absolution to the King of Wands, Aries, right? There was an absolution to Aries. There was, there was a decision already made, and this relationship is dead. It's dead and gone, right? Or is this about this Queen of Wands making a decision to have a rebirth with the Aries and resurrect this relationship from the dead? Let's see. Let's get some more. Spirit, how is this Queen of Wands going to move forward with Aries? Okay, so when you come to this Queen of Wands, Aries, they're going to be remembering the disappointment, the despair, the regret of what happened between the two of you. And quite frankly, they've moved on. They're gonna they're gonna think about your offer of manifestation of manifestation manifesting a new beginning and a new opportunity. They're going to they're going to they're going to consider it. Seven of Swords says they reflect back on the betrayal, the deception, the shady behavior that happened between the two of you. But yet they'd like to break free of those mental challenges. Ace of Wands in reverse comes in and says that um, that they feel a little weighed down, right? There's, there's a little bit of a lack of motivation to take an inspired to take inspired action in this situation. There's a little bit of lack of motivation to take inspired action in this situation because of the past that is between the two of you. But I tell you what, Aries, this Queen of Wands stops for a minute. They pause, they process, they surrender, and they come out on the other side with a new perspective. What is this perspective? 
What is this perspective? What is this new perspective for this Queen of Wands? What is this Queen of Wands going to do? What is the, how is the Queen of Wands going to answer Aries when they come to them, when they deliver this message of creating a new beginning and they want to reunite and reconcile? How is this Queen of Wands going to respond? The Ace of Cups, love. They love you, Aries. They love you. They always have. They love you. Overwhelming emotion. What else? What else? Two of Pentacles. Balance. They see some balance coming into the situation. What else? What else? What else? What else? What else? Five of Wands in reverse, right? Where there was conflict, tension, grief, strife. Now they'd like to, to turn all of that into an increased focus on goals. An increased focus on goals. And the sun, right? Happiness, vitality, success. They love you, Aries. They love you. They're just shocked because they thought this relationship was over. They thought it was dead and gone. Yeah, look, the nine of swords. They thought it was they thought it was dead and gone. And 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 now they're they're kind of in a state of anxiety because they're like, what? What? Aries, what? What? What else, spirit? What else? What else? I thought I saw a flipper. I did. I saw somebody flip over. Where is it? Maybe I didn't. Cray cray. Aha. Okay. So. So. They want the Ten of Cups with you, Aries. They want a realignment of values, happiness, and harmony in a solidified relationship. Victory, progress, and success is what they would like to have with you, Aries. And this whole thing creates a massive tower moment for them. Massive tower moment for them. Massive tower moment. What is this about right here? Why? What is this about? Yep, because after much reflection and assessment of what you have to say, Aries... They come to the conclusion that their feelings for you have never died and they love you. They love you, Aries. This is the king of love right here. They love you. What else? Anything else you want to say here? Anything else? So Aries, it looks like it looks like when you go towards this person, at first they're going to be shocked, but um, they're going to jump all over it. They're going to jump all over it, Aries. They, they love you. They want to be with you. Look, the King of Pentacles. This is control, authority, establishment, structure, um, abundance, creation, long-term goals, ambition, right? This is, this is how they see a relationship with you being. What else? Anything else? Anything else? Yep, the Six of Cups. They want to reunite and reconcile. Right on, Aries. That is awesome. That's awesome. That was a great reading. That's a beautiful reading. So don't be scared, Aries, because they are going to reciprocate. They might be a little shocked at first, but they're going to reciprocate. We're going to pull an Oracle card. They're, um, they're going to reciprocate. They love you, Aries. They love you, and I think, honestly, they've been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you. They've been waiting for you to do what you need to do. Confusion is the card that came out for you. Confusion. Let's see what this means. Okay. Confusion, right? All right. Conflicting thoughts regarding a major decision are causing you to feel confused. You may be feeling as if you don't know which way to turn at the moment. You feel unable to choose between that which you truly would love and that what you think you must do. At the heart of this issue lies a deep-seated sense of obligation to others. You are afraid that you might disappoint or hurt another by choosing what you love. 
The best course of action for you at this time is to take a few steps back. Don't place extra pressure on yourself right now thinking that you must decide. Give yourself time. If possible, take a short break away from it all. Bring some peace and quiet into your life. And over the coming days, there, things will be clearer. Your primary obligation is to honor what you truly feel in your heart. Others will understand in time. That's true, Aries. If you can't be true to yourself, you can't be true to anybody. And that's what this Hierophant in Reverse is about right here. That's what this is about. If you cannot be true to yourself, you cannot be true to anybody, Aries. And I think that I think that getting out of this relationship with the Queen of Pentacles and pursuing this Queen of Wands, Aries, is you being true to yourself. You're saying, screw what anybody else thinks. Screw what anybody else says. I'm doing what I want to do for my own happiness. And congratulations, Aries, because it's going to work out awesome for you. There you go. Now I'm, oh, no after party. There's no there's no after party. We already do we already did the after party right there, right? And found out how it is that um, how it is that this Queen of Wands is going to respond to you. So there is no after party, Aries. Maybe next time we'll do an extended deeper read. Um, but um, right now you're good to go. You're good to go. Go for it, Aries. Go for it. Pursue your heart. Go after what you love, and don't let anybody else tell you any differently. Okay. Namaste.